go. Uh, let's get you out of the way. We'll load you up. See how this goes. Part two of King's Quest. Six. So I uh, got myself the map last time, as uh, we may recall. Hey, get out of the way. There we go. Okay. Do, do, do. So, yes, I got myself the map to the land of the Green Isles. <laughs> okay. D I R. There we go. And we begin. This work is blah, blah, blah. There we go, MT. Sorry, SC-55 working right out of the gate. Do, 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 bing, bong. Woo! Bum, 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 bum. Okay, let us restore our game. So, we need to go somewhere. So I just got, as we recall, my hands on this guy. The magic map is made of thin leather and has lifelike drawings of the islands on its uneven surface. Mm hmm Alexander pulls out his magic map. Okay, so first place we're going to go, since I'm bad at adventure games and I'm following a walkthrough, is the Isle of the Sacred Mountain. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. Woo, and time for some fast travel. So I think there's only one thing we need to do here. So let's look at this. There appears to be something etched into the face of the cliff. Alexander decides to get closer. Ignorance kills. Wisdom elevates. The rock has been etched by some unknown hand. Oh. One may need to read about the logic cliffs in the guidebook to the land of the Green Isles in order to understand this mystical inscription. Mm. Oh, thank you. Well, we can read about that later. I do have the, the PDF of the guidebook from Gog. What's this here? There's an ugly flower growing near the base of the cliff. Well, maybe we'll pick that up, because this is an adventure game. Alexander picks the flower and is startled by its hideously strong, skunk-like odor. Ew. For a moment, he can smell nothing else. Ew. What do we got here? Alexander notices an unusually large, coal-black feather lying on the beach. I sort of feel like it's a little bit strange that I have a guidebook to the land of the Green Isles since, well, I guess I was planning to go here, but it seemed like it was a mystical kind of a place, but there's a guidebook to it in the manual. <laughs> Alexander takes the feather. There appears to be no way past the cliffs. Though roughly hewn, the cliffs do not provide regular handholds for climbing, hmm. and they seem otherwise impenetrable. Indeed. The ocean appears calm but there's a dimpling pattern to the surface, which indicates a strong undertow. Which means I shouldn't go there. Okay, well, I think that's all I can do here right now. Oh, yeah, I have a mint. Alexander pulls out his magic map. Do-do-do. So I think now we want to go to... According to the magic map, the Isle of Wonder is a comma-shaped island poised in the sea to the west. I was going to say apostrophe, but I guess it is a uh, a comma. Let's go to it. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. That's going to get that's going to get old. Wow. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Well, let's save our game because this is Sierra. I'll. Of wonder. One of the oysters is sitting up in bed and doesn't look very happy. Hmm. He seems to be the only one who can't sleep. Sorry, man. In the oyster's mouth, 
Alexander can see a glint of white. I like that. Let's talk to him. Alexander can't see any way to hold a conversation with that. What? He's like... There we go. Why aren't you asleep like the other oysters? a terrible ache in my mouth. Hmm. Well, luckily, I think, if I remember right, Alexander is carrying a book from the bargain table in the bookshop. If you're having trouble sleeping, perhaps you'd like me to read to you. Ah. <laughs> Two dulcimers raised to the degree of 40 half dulcimers divided into equal parts by the third of a cackle of grouse geese. Yes, yeah, a terrible. Put book. over the result of 10 fine mackles, albeit small fine mackles, stretched over the total of 53 and an eighth bottles of wild beast lard. Mm. Nope, that was a bit too quick. Yields a gilded minnow of precise measurements, 2,069 centidrills by 3,023 and 6 sevenths puns, not punts, as might be expected. <laughs> this is not to say, however, in any sense whatsoever, that deviations in mean temperature of five or six dregs or so. Alexander sees nothing of interest on that part of the oyster. There, I think it's right there. Indicate a fabrication or derivation sufficiently broad enough to exacerbate the conclusions uncovered in due course with regards to the dimensions, consistency, mass, or thickness inherent in the menial suckling grouse. Mm. Alexander yes. makes a grab for the pearl. <laughs> the little oyster drifts into peaceful slumber with the rest of his oyster friends. Yay. What is this? A string of letters floats in the water. The letters spell out, where are you going? Alexander's heard of alphabet soup, but this is ridiculous. Nah. Uh, I'm always very wary of getting things in water. Get. That's not how you spell get. <laughs> Alexander wades into the sea to get the strange object in the water. I'm going to die, right? The ocean currents tug at Alexander's legs. Hmm. That object is just a bit out of reach. I'm going to die. Alexander wades deeper into the <sighs> sea to get the strange object in the water. I'm going to die. The underwater toe is amazingly strong here. It pulls ferociously at Alexander's legs. Before Alexander can retreat, <laughs> the currents grab his legs. The shifting sand vanishes from beneath his feet. Bye. Against his best efforts, he is dragged out to sea. Blah, blah, blah. The currents around the island pull Alexander under. Well, that's unfortunate. As Alexander struggles to the surface for the third and last time, he finds himself wishing he'd paid more attention to the warning signs of an undertow. <laughs> oh. Tickets up. Next. Nothing like getting swept off your feet. Oh, well. Luckily, I figured that was going to happen. So we'll get that after. I suspect it's going to... It's going to do a thing. You know, it'll... Oh, that, that's all I had to do. <laughs> Alexander doesn't want to taste the salty seawater. Shut up. I want this. Alexander picks up the object floating in the water. It appears to be a string of letters. They say, where are you going? Alexander decides to keep the odd sentence, even though it is incomplete. <laughs> What's that? Alexander's carrying a little ink bottle. 
it appears to be empty. Uh, let's go. Alexander hears someone coming. Do -do 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 -do. I hear scars on the aisle we be. Watch for a foreign man, said he. With ears and nose, tongue, hands and eyes. Its nature cannot be disguised. If man it be, then man it dies. Uh-oh. I'm a man. Old Tom Troll, smell your smell. Do that which you do so well. Oh, he's gonna smell. Oh, oh, I have an idea. Where's that flower? Come here. Alexander holds the flower of stench out to the gnome with the jumbo nose. Tom Troll, I am. That's all I'll be. My nose knows all on land and sea. A flower of stench has washed ashore. A flower tis all and nothing more. Nothing. Yay. Listen, hark you, Rovador. Do your duty as you swore. With your ears, please tell us more. I think I have a little birdie. Alexander winds the tin nightingale and plays it for the gnome with the monumental ears. Monumental. It's taking a while. He's a <laughs> little dance. La 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 la. A nose is not a way to spy. My ears cannot be told a lie. A nightingale is all there be. No man is near, and so say me. I see. I see the challenge here. That we might know whether friend or whether foe. Gross. 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 Is that a mint? Alexander holds the mint out for the gnome with the gigantic mouth. Bah. Grump Frump knows a tasty <laughs> treat. It matters not what others bleat. No danger is this one so sweet. Yay! Tree Dilly, use your hands. Is it beast or is it man? I like the big white gloves. All right. Rabbit's foot? Maybe I'm a bunny. Alexander holds the rabbit foot out for the gnome with the huge hands. Be all you mad? What aileth thee? A bunny can't trill merrily. A hare does not at all taste sweet. A rabbit here is all we greet. Thanks, Kato. Old Bill Batter, never fatter. Vision can resolve this matter. Look you now and end this chatter. I like how it's like, well, whatever we do is crap. The vision will do it. What about this empty ink bottle? Alexander pours the contents of the empty looking ink bottle over himself. Yay. By all that's beauteous, fair, and sightly, four morons do I sleep with nightly. <laughs> There's nothing there at all, I say. Enough of this. Let's now away. You know, honestly, like, people give King's Quest a hard time, and I think some of them are a little cheesy. This one, actually, I think the writing is honestly not all Alexander that terrible. Did it. He's fooled the guards. Okay, just checking on the kid. She is sleeping. Success. All right. Do, 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 do. Oop. Oh. Numlock. Ten. Cards. Done. Okay. Ah. 
Okay, let's go this way. Oh, books and a spider. Not sure I like the spider. <laughs> Piles of stacked books, looking ready to topple at any moment, have been arranged haphazardly on the sandy ground. Oh, hello. What do you think you're doing? Oh. I'm sorry. I, I didn't realize these books had an owner. I'm in need of a rare book. <laughs> no owner. All books have owners, my good man. And this book owner, bookworm to you, wouldn't part with one of his books for anything. Anything? Isn't there something I can do for you to pay for the book? Hmm, let's see. Do you have an itinerant clause? No. No clauses at all, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid. As an exception, you always should. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Don't mind Oxymoron and Diphthong. <laughs> They're fairly limited grammatical principles, you know. Diphthong. Hmm, let's see. A marsh pig that does Texas? Sadly not. Uh, no. I'm afraid not. A dangling participle? I'm fresh out. A purple fiddlewhacker? No, I don't think so. Sorry. <laughs> An idiosyncrasy, perhaps? Hmm. Afraid not. Ha! Huh, then what good are you? Oh well, I do remember something about a dangling participle. Okay, what we got here? Oh! Wow! Hi, gorgeous. Ooh, it's a black what widow. A luscious looking hunk of flesh you are. Uh, thank you. I guess. Who are you? <gasps> How charming of you to pretend not to know. I'm Black Widow, of course. Uh -huh. The femme fatale of all femme fatales. Know what I mean? No. <laughs> no. I was just thinking it was time I found my 50th, uh, another husband. It would be quite a horror. Uh, I mean, an honor to have me as a bride. Would it, though? Mm -hmm. Just look at my beautiful weaving. It's so light, so delicate. You'll never want to leave my little nest. Creepy. It is a lovely web, but my heart is elsewhere, I'm afraid. No oh, drat! Uh, <clears throat> I mean, the loss is yours. I'm sure you'll change your mind once you consider the advantages. A thread is hanging from the otherwise tightly woven web. Hmm. That scrap of paper blew into my web from those books over there. The wind just thinks it can deposit anything here. <laughs> I'm sure if I take it, I'll probably... Um, I can't save here. Okay, so I think what I actually need to do is pull this here. Hey, don't touch that thread! You jerk! Alexander snatches the scrap of parchment, curious to see what's written on it. Yoink! Love. Hmm. Nope. The wind blows the scrap of paper from Alexander's hand, but he remembers what it said well enough. <laughs> okay. Well, I think that's that here. So I do need that rare book so I can get the magic book. Right this way. All right, let's go to the north. Ooh. Milkweed thrives near the mucky swamp. Hmm. Small bottles filled with milk grow on it like fruit. The fallen log has a good-sized knot or bump. 
a large tree stretches knotted limbs out over the swamp. Part of the tree's trunk is shaped like the face of a dog. Why, it must be a dogwood tree. Ha <laughs> dogwood. I love it. I love how everything is so, uh, you know, literal. Ooh. Unless Alexander is mistaken, those plants must be baby's tears. <laughs> Vines of sweet ripening tomatoes climb up little wooden posts. Is that lettuce growing in the garden? It looks a little chilled. Why, it must be iceberg lettuce. <laughs> Let's grab some iceberg lettuce. Alexander picks a head of iceberg lettuce. Ye gads! Is that cold? Sure is. Okay. Let's go through the doors here. Oh, very wonderlandy. Onto the chessboard we go. Oh, the night checkmate. Only chess pieces allowed in chessboard land. <laughs> That's right. Humans aren't allowed in and never will be. Stay out. <laughs> okay, sorry, dudes. Hello. I must insist, your highness. I shall send the lump of coal to the wizier and the princess as a present for their wedding. And that's the end of it. And I suppose you'll leave me with only this stupid spoiled egg to send, your highness. I want to impress Excuse the new me. king and queen of the realm as much as you do. As queen of this island, I have every right to that lump of coal. <laughs> Who isn't queen of this isle? The lump of coal is in my possession. Therefore, I shall do as I please with it. So Besides, much bickering. There's nothing wrong with that spoiled egg. The egg, though delightfully spoiled, is not nearly so valuable as the lump of coal, and you know it. Your Highness always got to carry the singing stone. It's not fair that you get the coal, too. Hmm. That doesn't count. The singing stone was stolen by that horrid beast. I should get to keep the coal just because my stone was stolen. It wasn't your stone. It belonged to the Isle of Wonder Treasury. Your Highness always thinks that everything is hers. I feel like we're getting a lot of exposition here. <laughs> Excuse me, my good man, but could you settle an argument for us? Sure. Which of us should get to carry the coal and which the egg? Remember, white is the color of deserving truth and virtue. Wah, wah, wah. Quiet, your highness, and let him make up his own mind. I, for one, shall be more proper and not even mention the fact that red is the color of love. <laughs> I'm sorry, your majesties. I'm partial to both red and white, but I'm afraid that I don't know how to solve your problem. One of you will just have to be gracious and allow the other the lump of coal. What? What a ridiculously <laughs> stupid idea. Quite ludicrous. He was a lot of help, wasn't he? Oh, yes. Obviously a man of high intelligence. Oh. The lump of coal goes much better with my gown anyway. <laughs> Black and red are imperial colors. <laughs> Off they go. The silliest thing I ever heard. Red does not go with anything, being much too self-conscious. White is the perfect accompaniment to any color. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, clearly, that's something I'm going to need. Alexander picks up the Red Queen's scarf. So I am going to say that there was certainly a clue there about a beast and a singing thing and a whatever. Terrible monster or whatever. What are these? A colorful array of snapdragons stand oh. guard to one side of the path. The wallflowers look terribly shy. 
there appears to be a hole in the garden wall. Oh. Through the hole in the wall, Alexander sees a land that resembles a giant chessboard. Wow, it really is a hole in the wall. Nope. Uh -huh. Zounds, those wallflowers sure are shy, and the snapdragons are awfully protective of them. Alexander can't even get close to the wallflowers without causing quite a stir. Okay, sorry. Jeez. Okay, well, let's go deal with that thing that they said wasn't around, I suspect. Since they were talking about like a beast monster thingy. That this might be at the Isle of the Beast. Isle of the Beast. Six, six, six. Isle of the Beast. Okay. <laughs> Alexander pulls out his magic map. Okay. Who did you? Isle of the Alexander Beast. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. Do -do 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 -do. Boom. Oh, I think that's the dude that I care about. We haven't saved for a while, have we? Eleven. Isle of the Beast. What are you? An odd little creature dangling from that tree branch. It's clearly, that is very, very complete description. Hello, friend. Aren't you an odd-looking little fellow? Hey, yo. I'm not odd-looking. You are. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't realize you could speak. Like Yoda, you speak. Speak not. Funny is, speech I am and nothing but. Okay. You speak strangely, friend. Strange? My speech is not eloquence I speak with. But who are you? And why are you here? Away I fly my home from. Lost I am, therefore. Uh, as my name, too? Can you guess not? It's what I do this branch with, and the way I speak of. Hmm. If you're lost, perhaps I can take you home. Take me home, too? Think not I do. Know you I do not. Help you, I will. That's not Help you, I will. Mm. Are you sure you don't want me to try to find your home? Trust you, I do not. Stay here, I will. Are you sure you don't want me to try to find your home? Trust you, I do not. Stay here, I will. Okay. There's an odd little creature dangling <laughs> from that tree branch. Can I like, just poke him? Won't you come down? Come down? Why for? No, you, I do not. What does this thing say again? Alexander is carrying, oddly enough, a sentence. It says, where are you going? What? Alexander already has a pretty good grasp on his words. Ha 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 ha. That was a pun. Alexander doesn't want to do anything to alter the tree. <laughs> Alexander holds the sentence out to the creature. This sentence seems in need of an ending. Ah. Perhaps you could finish it? Where are you going? Where are you going? Know what I do? Where are you going to? Like you, I do. Go I with you. <laughs> Yay. Well, that was certainly interesting. It looks like Alexander now has a passenger. Can I, like, talk to him? Take me home to... Take me home to. One end of the creature resembles a miniature dragon, while the other looks like a possum. What a strange looking fellow. <laughs> Can I poke him? Tickle me not! 
<laughs> I love it when you carry living things. Okay. Ooh, that doesn't look good. A pond lies across the path. The water boils as if over some magical flame. All right, here, let's save. So if I walk right in, what's going to happen? Alexander decides to brave the boiling pond. <laughs> Alexander's an idiot. Yeah. And yeah. soon realizes a deep sympathy for soup vegetables as he <laughs> learns the true meaning of being in a stew. Ooh. Tickets. Tickets. Up. Next. <laughs> it looks like Alexander's in a bit of a stew. Wah, wah, wah. I'm not going to do all the deaths, but if there's some that are blatantly obvious, you know. Okay. Now, luckily, I happen to have one of these. Alexander is carrying what little remains of a head of iceberg lettuce. The lettuce is rapidly melting. Hoping to cool down the boiling pond, Alexander throws in a head of iceberg lettuce. Ha. The ah. pond's water slowly stops boiling, cooled by the ice. It still looks hot, but bearable. So what do we got here? An old abandoned hunter's lamp is hanging on one of the trees. Alexander wonders who might have hunted in these dense woods. Let's find out. Alexander decides to brave the steaming pond. Just steaming this time. Ow, 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 ow. Ouch, ow. Ooh, 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 ouch. I feel like they the use that. The pond is no longer boiling, but it's hardly bathwater. <laughs> Alexander takes the old hunter's lamp from the tree. Okay. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. So, yeah, I was going to say, I feel like the uh, the rotoscope of, was also used in maybe Space Quest 4, I would say, maybe. Uh -huh. As Alexander continues down the path, he gets the strange feeling that he's being watched. I feel like gold eyes. Come on over here and see what I'm doing with these flowers. Hmm. Never mind that stone fella on top of the gate. He won't hurt you any. He's yeah. just there to scare you. That seems, uh, mm, I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't think I'm going to do that. <laughs> what? A stone archer sits atop the lintel of the gate like a silent guardian. His stone bow is tightly drawn and fitted with a single stone arrow. Yeah, I'm just gonna. A brick lies in the grass. It must have come from the old brick wall. Yeah, I don't feel like that's gonna be a death. I'm just not gonna. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, no. Alexander <laughs> picks up the brick. Away we go. I'm leaving. For, forget it. <laughs> that's just dumb. We'll deal with that later. Come on through, I say. I can show you a path through the forest. Nah. You aren't gonna listen to me, are you? Well, we'll just see about that. Mm. God, the gardener just disappeared. Do not want. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, let's go back to the Isle of Wonder, because I think that might be that dangling participle, given that he was dangling and he speaks in dangling participles. Alexander pulls out his magic map. Ah. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. Do -do 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 -do. Boom. Okay, let's go check, see if that little dude Belongs to this little dude. Do, 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 do. do you have anything interesting yet? 
I do, in fact. A regular abnormality? <laughs> uh, let me see what I have. I found this little fellow lost on another island. Coming home, I am too. There you are, you naughty boy. I told you not to leave the island. Glad I am seeing you too. A most <laughs> solemn celebration. <laughs> So, you found my dangling participle. I suppose I'll have to give you something. You would. Oh, let's see now. Was it a rare book you wanted? It was. Twas, yes, in sir. fact. Well, then none of these will do. They've been sitting in the sun far too long and must be well cooked by now. Gotta go in the deep in the pile this there. This one is far more rare. A delicious <laughs> little tidbit. <laughs> Rare, I get it. That's funny. Uh, thanks. Okay, I got a rare book. Huzzah. <laughs> R for rare. Alexander is carrying a rare book from the bookworm. The words in the binding are very faint. The something something riddle book. Alexander opens the rare book and looks inside. The book nope. contains riddles and has a page missing. Alexander glances at a few of the conundrums, but finds himself more curious about the one that is missing. What was the riddle, he wonders. More importantly, what was the answer? Hmm. Do, 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 do. Okay, off we go back to the Isle of the Crown now that we have a rare book to give to the bookseller dude. Hey, this way. A lot of traveling in this game. Alexander pulls out his magic map. At least it doesn't have that terrible King's Quest three yeah three with the timer and the climbing the thing and the book alexander was, feels a terrible. strange pulling sensation Yoink. ah into town we go but first Let's go to the pawn shop. Because I think we don't need that nightingale no more. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Your candy dish is empty. I am sorry, sir, but I have no more mints. Somebody has eaten them all. You. Well, get some more then. <laughs> I fear that is impossible. Without the ferry, I can no longer get imports from the other islands, and we do not grow mint extract on the Isle of the Crown. Huh. Oh, I hate not getting what I want. Do. Oh, uh, sorry, I was just dealing with something, but we're good. Okay. So, let's talk to this man. How fare you, good merchant? I could use more business, if the truth be known. Okay, so let's... Oop, oop, oop. Man, that's what happens when I switch out of the window. Uh, so, I don't need you anymore. You've served your purpose. Would you mind if I traded this in? Of course, Prince Alex. Please, choose something in exchange for the items on the counter. Prince Alex. Alexander looks closely at the items on the counter to make his selection. I think the flute's going to do a it this time. Flute is displayed on the counter. I'll take the flute. The flute? Very good, Prince Alex. May its music always be sweet. Feel free to trade it back at any time. Thank you. How does this guy make any money if he just like 
takes things back and exchanges them. It's like, oh, take this now. It's not a very use good pawn shop. Okay, I've got something valuable too. The flawless pearl is the largest Alexander's ever seen. I think I could probably trade this for my ring. I found this large pearl. Might it be valuable enough to ransom back my family ring? I have never seen such a perfect pearl. Certainly you can have your ring back. Oh, I'm glad you didn't sell it. I'm a bit attached to it, I'm afraid. <laughs> of course you are. You would be cold-hearted if you felt any differently. I am happy to see a family heirloom back with its rightful owner. Okay, that's all I gotta do in here. Let's go to the bookshop. Hey, the cellar dude is gone. Let's save, because it's been a little while. 13. Go to book. Bookshop. Uh, uh. Boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Hello, I will be right up. Will you now? Now, what can I do for you? It's a light for my <laughs> microphone is shining on my shirt. Uh, okay, let's give him that rare book. I found this rare book, and I thought of your offer. Very interesting. It is a wonderful riddle book. Riddles are much more marketable than spells these days. Seems that way. I guess people believe more in mirth than in magic. <laughs> Here is the spell book you wanted. And a fair trade it is, I must say. Enjoy it. I certainly hope so. We shall see how rusty my spell casting truly is. Well, you were like a sorcerer's apprentice, weren't you? Okay, who's this dude? An odd-looking man is reading in the stuffed chair. He wears a vest, balloon-style pants, and pointed shoes. There's something deliberately silly about the man, as though he were a performer of some sort. Well, first, let's go check out this book before I... Uh... Magic paint spell, swamp ooze, river sticks water, black horse feather. Incantations, uh, so uh, salt water from the sea, sacred water, falling water, make rain. Charming a creature of the night, skull full of hot oak embers. That's very specific. Bit of sulfur, strand of pure hearted maiden's hair. This is the last page. Okay, sorry. This is the first page. Okay, well, yeah, it looks like stuff that I could potentially get in this game. Okay, now let's talk to this dude. Good day, sir. Hello. Is there anything you can tell me about the land of the Green Isles? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I have no time for idle conversation. Mm -hmm. I'm too worried about the princess. The princess? Oh, that's something. Excuse me again, sir. You mentioned the princess. I told you, I'm not interested in talking to strangers. Well, I'm not a stranger. And I also have a vested interest in the princess. So I'm going to show you this. Flash Determined my badge. Determined to learn more about the strange man's relationship with the princess, Alexander shows the man his insignia ring and formally introduces himself. I'm sorry to insist, but my name is Alexander of Daventry and... I appreciate the offer of the ring, Alexander, but I'm afraid I'm already spoken. Oh. Daventry? Where have I heard of Daventry? Flying flit mice. You must be Prince Alexander. Cosima told me about you when she arrived home. How came you here? Why, by a ship now wrecked upon the sand. But you know Cosima? She truly spoke of me? Yes, yes, I, I saw her briefly when she first returned home. She mentioned a prince to me, a Prince Alexander of Daventry. I'm afraid that was before she was told about her parents' deaths. Oh. You see, she arrived home a few weeks too late. The king and queen thought they'd never see her again. 
It is said they died of heartbreak. I'm afraid she's blamed herself. What a terrible homecoming. If we had only known. <laughs> terrible indeed, poor thing. Everyone in the kingdom seems to despair with her these days. The streets are silent. Where is she now? The princess is sequestered in mourning. It's a rather dated tradition, and not required, but the wazir says she insisted out of respect. I see. You've yet to say who you are, and how you know the princess. Hmm. I? Oh, pardon me. My name is Chalo. I am clown to the royal court, and have been since the marriage of Cosima's parents, King Caliphon and Queen Alaria. Oh, those were the happy days. The pair of them were so full of joy and life, so in love. And Cosima's birth. It would be hard to explain how long they had waited, how they had hoped for a child. I mean, she was such a charming little thing, smart as a whip. Kind and sweet. Oh, she means everything to this kingdom, Alexander, and to me. I'm so terribly worried about her. About her grief over her parents, you mean? Well, the truth is, I do not trust the Wazir or his plans for Kasima. Hmm. I'm still living at the Castle of the Crown as Court Clown, his clown. But it is more to keep my ear to the ground than out of loyalty. I wish I knew what the princess thinks these days. <sighs> if only I could find Sing Sing, Cosima's pet nightingale. Ah. I might be able to send the princess a message. As it is, I must wait for the end of her seclusion. What can you tell me about the wazir? The wazir? <laughs> now there's a dangerous subject. His name is Abdul al Hazred. He came to the kingdom 15 years ago. The king was fascinated by his knowledge and his fine-sounding ideas. It didn't take long for Al Hazred to convince the king nope. to trust him with the <laughs> the music only ducks for a come. while. You see, Caliphim had a wife and a new daughter he wanted to spend time with. Al Hazred became wazir. And now? Well, He's had his eye on Kasima ever since she was a young girl. And she is the only thing between him and the throne. Gross. So gross. Do you think he means to harm her? Quite the oh, opposite. I honestly don't know. I think he'd rather keep her as wife. But whatever his plans for the princess, he will use her to his best advantage. That's his way. Perhaps he has charmed her. Perhaps she cares for him now. The Wazir is capable of anything, and Kasima must be vulnerable and lonely right now. Still, she has always instinctively distrusted him. Kasima has a good head on her shoulders. I'd be surprised if she's truly fallen for his words of love. Now I must return to the castle. Look, I don't want to arouse suspicion. I'll try to meet you here again later. Thank you for the information, Jalo. Be very careful. Oh, I have an ally on the inside. Okay. Well, that was a lot of, again, a lot of exposition. Okay. Well, let's head back to that Isle of Wonder. Now that I'm armed with a spell book and my insignia ring proving that I am who I say I am. Tweet, 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 tweet. Now oh, that's the box that from the beginning. Okay, Isle of Wonder, once again. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This one, this one, this Alexander one. pulls out his magic map. Do -do -do. Probably go for about ten more Alexander minutes. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. Do -do 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 -do. Huzzah!
This time we'll grab some of the milk. Alexander takes a bottle of milk from the milkweed bush. Wow. wow. Uh, uh, uh. Apparently, the dogwood tree doesn't like Alexander standing that close. Okay, so if I remember here, there was some. Something here. Whoop. Salt water, sacred water, falling water. Okay, let's go over here. Salt water not from the sea. Unless Alexander is mistaken, those plants That's must be there too. baby's tears. Baby's tears. Those could be salty. Can I talk to it? Hello. Aren't you a bunch of fine-looking young plants? Go, 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 go. Apparently, the baby's tears haven't learned to talk yet. <laughs> Luckily, I have some milk. Alexander gives one of the baby's tears a bottle of milk. The other baby's tears seem to resent Alexander's gift for some reason. <laughs> Well, I can probably collect those in this here a lamp. Alexander collects some of the baby's tears in the old hunter's lamp. Good day, tomato vines. Good morning. How did you manage to fall off the vine, Mr. Tomato? What do you think? I'm old. I'm rotten. Yeah. Ugh. Leave me alone. If you say so. After all, you're just going to let me sit here and rot on this dry ground like everybody else, aren't you? Why, I don't know. I, I suppose. Ah, never mind. Just go away. Nah. Nah. Now I'm going to pick you up. Hey, what do you think you're doing there? Get your hands off me. Hey! Alexander picks up Rotten Tomato and puts him away. One never knows when one will need a Rotten Tomato. I agree. It's sort of like Murray. Where's the Rotten Tomato? I got a lawyer, you know. Yeah, <laughs> there's kidnapping laws in this here kingdom. You're ugly and you smell bad. Yeah, put me down before I juice all over you. Oh, ew. I got a lawyer, you know. Okay, yeah, okay. there's kidnapping laws in this here kingdom. Okay, let's go get that hole in the wall. Alexander decides to pick up the hole in the wall. A hole in the wall could be a very useful thing. I agree. <laughs> Alexander startled the poor thing. It's run off to hide behind the wallflowers. Can I get it? Oh. Uh, uh. The wallflowers, overcome with shyness at Alexander's approach, cluster together and cover the hole in the wall. Alexander can't get it. How about this? May I have this dance? Oh, my! <laughs> <laughs> this is another one of those I'm going to distract things and then grab the, the hole as soon as I can. Come on, hole in the wall. <laughs> Can't help but glance over at the SC55 screen. Alexander the... stops playing the flute. 
But the wallflowers and snapdragons continue to dance, caught up in the music and oblivious to everything around them. It's a party! Party! While the wallflowers dance, Alexander snatches the hole in the wall. That's going to be handy. And there's a Alexander would something. Love to Is that a spell, teacup? But he's nope. a tad busy at the moment. Uh. Wah, wah, wah. Alexander takes the teacup. Okay. So I think now, if we're gathering some of these ingredients for these... Whoa, excuse me. So let's see, what have I got now? So I don't think, oh, I think I have a, may have a black feather. I've got salt water not from the sea. And that's. This is the last page. Okay, well, what is this? A mushy swamp lies just off the path. It doesn't look like very good swimming. So, one second, what? Swamp ooze. Well, I seem to have a cup now, don't I? I do. What do you think you're doing? Ah, stick in the mud. You startled me. I was just getting some swamp ooze. Well, you certainly won't get it there! That's not swamp ooze! That's swamp sludge! He's right, you know. <laughs> but he could be a little nicer about telling you he's not a very pleasant stick in the mud. Sorry. Nobody asked you! Be quiet! <laughs> <sighs> oh, the trials of being a mere bump on a log. <laughs> I love how literal everything is. Okay. Hmm. Who are you? I'm Bump on a Log, and that's my brother, Stick in the Mud. We've had this thing about each other ever since our childhood. Mom always liked me best. <laughs> she did not! That is absolutely not true! Don't mind me. He's a bit Slink. lazy, you see. He's got the only swamp ooze in the swamp right next to him. But do you think he'd move a finger to help you get some? Hardly. He'd try to brain you with it more than likely. Oh, His temper's work. about the only thing that ever gets a workout. And that on yours truly. Oh! Like you've moved it all in the last century! <laughs> like you're Mr. Physical Activity! <laughs> Just because I can't reach anything, he so thinks he mean. can throw gushy swamp matter at me and just say whatever he likes. If only I could turn the tables on that heckler, he might learn some respect. But as you can see, I'm a mere bump on a log and must be content with my lot. <laughs> oh, shut up! You couldn't hit the broadside of a barn even if you had something to throw! Just shut up! You see how he is? Okay. Well, why don't we... Hands off, you! <laughs> Quiet, you. I thought this might come in handy oh, the he's next got an time arm. my brother starts picking on you. Aha! Finally, old bump on the logs not so defenseless, is he? Hey, hey! What are you doing there? Watch the pump, would you? Now, Pumpy, remember all I've given you. Pumpy. The only thing you've ever given me is mud. Take this. No! Not into the swamp! Yeah, yeet that tomato. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Hey, okay, I give up. Jeez, sorry. 
Sorry. Well, I guess it's not very pleasant having things thrown at you. I'm sorry. You mean it? Really? Brother. 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 Stick in the mud and bump on a log, exhausted from the battle, immediately doze off into naps. Rock's <laughs> tomato, being equally lazy, decides to join them. <laughs> okay, well, now... The Isle of Wonder Swamp. Oh, shut up. A glob of swamp ooze tossed during the brotherly fight has landed on the log. Just what I wanted. So where is my comp? Alexander fills the teacup with the swamp ooze. Okay, so I've now got swamp ooze. I have a black horse feather. Don't have river sticks water. Salt from the sea. Or salt water not from the sea. Don't have that, don't have that. And then a bit of sulfur. That I think I can handle. So I already used the flute. And I probably I think you're only supposed to use all those things once. So I will go back to Isle of the Crown. Alexander pulls, pulls out up his a magic, magic map. Because I think there was like a tinder box or a flint and steel or something. Alexander feels Over a here. strange pulling sensation. And then I think I will have the capacity to go up the mountain on the Isle of the Sacred Mountain. So we will go there, and once we get to the Isle of the Sacred Mountain, we will call it for today. Since it is 11.02 p.m., and I have stuff to do tomorrow, sadly. Do 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 Good day, Prince Alexander. Prince Alex. Okay, don't need you no more. Would you mind if I traded this in? Of course, Prince Alex. Please, choose something in exchange for the items on the counter. Alexander looks closely at the items on the counter to make his selection. Very closely. Gotta be very... What is this? A battered tinder box is displayed on the counter. I believe I'll take the tinder box. The tinder box. That's probably very my good, Prince brimstone. Alex. Enjoy your tinder box and bring it back any time. Thank you. Okay. We're going to go to the Isle of the whatever. Isle of the sacred thing. Doom, doom, doom. Isle of the Sacred Thing. Okay, so we're going to go. Alexander pulls out his magic map. Sacred Alexander magic. feels a strange pulling sensation. Okay, so that's about an hour. Uh, that will do for today, so I will save. Oh, haven't saved for a while here. Lucky. Scale cliff. Okay, so that is that. Thanks. Oh, that's the wrong button. Thanks, everyone, for hanging Taking out. Off your adventurer's cap so soon. Yes. All right, so thanks, everyone, for hanging out. That was a lot of fun, and we will do more of this next week, and uh, hopefully next week as well, uh, we will get the, uh, the next show out. So thank you all again. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.